Hey there, hey there. Today's wig is brought to you by Hair Soul Fly. Thank you so much, Hair Soul Fly, for sending me this wig. I'm sure to leave the link below to this wig and also their direct store. The brand of the wig that I have today is Otre. I have one of their lace front wigs. I have her in the style Ashani in the color 2. This unit is curling eye safe up to 400 degrees and this wig is Swiss lace. So this is what the wig looks like straight out of the package. The curls are very tight. If you want, you can shake it out. Or if you want, like I'm going to do, I'm going to brush it out and comb it out. So like I said, this wig comes with Swiss lace. You have three combs in the front, two by the temple, one in the center. And you also get another comb in the back with your adjustable straps. And that's the way the parting come. I am going to pluck that. So I did this a few times in my other videos. I'll show you guys really quickly how I pluck the parting. I just take a sharp T pin, I think, yeah whatever it is to pin down your wigs and i use the end of that you can use whatever you want that sharp to help you pick it up or if you'd want to some people just use their fingers and grab the strand they want so i just take the end of that t-pin and i just take up strands little by little but be careful if you do get this wig because the lace is super 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 soft i actually ripped a hole in the lace like you have to take up like a little bit of hair like at least two strands at a time i know it sounds like a lot of work and it takes patience but hey if you want your parting to look good learn from me don't put a hole in the lace <laughs> All of that hair in my hand is the amount of hair I plucked from the parting. Right here is my parting results. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Mineral Powder in the color dark and just dab some of that powder on top of the lace. Hopefully some of the powder could like help cover up the hole I made. The hole is not that big, but the cap I'm wearing underneath is kind of the same tone as the powder. So, yay! So right here I'm just taking my fingers fluffing out the hair. I really didn't want to take much of the waves away but because I plucked so much hair from the parting a lot of the hair got stuck in the middle of the hair and more towards the end so I had to take my brush and brush out all of that hair that I plucked and also all the hair that's already shedding from the wig. Brushing out the waves was making the hair too big, so I went ahead and found my comb, my wide tooth comb. And this helped a lot more and it helped like actually keep the pattern of the hair. Using a brush, it takes away a lot of the pattern, but this saved it just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I'm just gonna say my quick thoughts on this wig. I think the pattern of the hair is so beautiful. The texture of this hair is on the silky side. To me, it looks like it could actually pass for some virgin hair, like a virgin hair dupe. Like a virgin hair dupe body wave. It's really, really gorgeous. One thing I must say about this wig, and I'm not going to lie, you guys know I tell how it is. I could tell that this wig, if you get it, it is going to tangle right away. Like, I probably would give it no more than one or two days. But yeah. As for the size on this cap, to me it's not really too big head friendly. Uh, it doesn't really feel like it. it was kind of really snug on my head. And as for the length, the length of this wig on me that stretched out is about uh, about 18 to kind of 20 inches. As for the luster, I don't think this wig is shiny at all. It is a very nice wig. So that's pretty much all I have to say. Oh wait, no. The density of this wig is on the thick side, by the way. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Later, you guys.